<laughs> and I don't want him to think that that's what it was. <laughs> Who is Sam Ryder? Is that, is this, no, that's just a thick bit of paper. Hey, how's it going? I'm Sam Ryder and we're in gorgeous Liverpool in the legendary Cavern Club venue. Uh, my first time playing here and I am absolutely stoked. We're going to play The Cavern Asks. You ready? No, nor am I. Let's go. Um, who is Sam Ryder? Who is Sam Ryder? Who is Sam Ryder? That is a, a philosophical question and um, I would say a, a, an overexcited, enthusiastic, optimistic golden retriever. What was the inspiration for your new album? Uh, the retention of faith and hope. Um, all I can speak of in my experience in like trying to create a career of sharing my own music is that you get absolutely peppered with failure along the way. Sometimes for years, um, sometimes for a short amount of time. In my experience, it was a long time and um, you needed hope and faith and I've got friends that are doing the same thing and they're holding on to hope and faith and they're incredibly talented and uh, that's the inspiration for this album, to speak to those people on that journey because um, I know what it's like. What's your favourite thing to do when you're not touring? Um, I like walk in because I sound about 300 years old, uh, <laughs> but I do. I love cold water swimming, I love surfing, um, snowboarding, Lego, reading, um, and watching Battlestar Galactica uh, and playing Zelda. What artist would be in your perfect wedding band? Iron Maiden. Uh, can you remember the first song you performed live? Uh, it was <laughs> uh, Reach for the Stars, S Club 7. But the next one that I did was, uh, I believe in a thing called Love the Darkness. So, I mean, they're actually both bangers and I'm not ashamed of either. Uh, what beetle would you take out surfing? That's a good question. Um, Maka because I reckon he's flexible. He looks like a flexible bloke. Um, I don't know why I said that. If you've seen this, Paul, and I'm not weird. <laughs> what was one gig you wished you could have been at? Uh, Queen, Live Aid, easy. What item can't you be without? Uh, shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> what do you think Liverpool would bring as a city to Eurovision? Uh, in my short time, I've been, living in, I've been in Liverpool for today only. And what I've noticed is there's a certain warmness in the hearts of people here. It's in the welcome. It's in uh, just the, the connection and the conversation. And um, that is crucial because that's what we need to bring to Eurovision uh, next year because we are hosting a party for people that cannot host it at their house. And I'm so so thrilled for everyone here and the UK as a whole that we get that opportunity and we get to rise to that occasion. Um, so bless you Liverpool taking on this uh, immense challenge. You're going to smash it and um, I can't wait to see it. I love you. Peace. Bye. <laughs> and one more thing before I go. I know what you're thinking. Just sod off Sam. But listen, right? I put a new album out. It came out on Friday. And um, when's this going out? When are we putting this up? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Okay, perfect. Then you'll be just in time, right? Because we are currently sitting at number one in the UK album chart, which is bonkers. That is absolutely bonkers. And um, we don't rest on our laurels. We keep pushing and we need your help. So if you're watching this, if you've liked any of the videos that I've done, whether it was singing in the corner of my shed during lockdown, if that brought you a little bit of joy or Eurovision or the Jubilee or anything else that we've done and worked hard at, because of the opportunity that ultimately you have given us, then please consider supporting this record. Um, any artist or any band that you follow, you can be fooled into thinking that it's just those people on the stage, but for every single one of them, let me tell you, uh, there is an office full of people working day in, day out, way beyond their contracted hours to make sure that it gets to the people that have been supporting since day one. Um, so please consider doing that and um, let's get this number one album. I can feel it in the air. I love you. See you later.